Uh, hey YouTube, Mike TPC, Pipe Miner Chris here again. Uh, had to get on tonight because dumb luck. I was at my local shop again today, and uh, well, one of these I found some stuff that I had no idea was going to be there. It just anyway, one of these I knew about. This one here is another batch of that vintage tobacco that they, they had purchased from a guy's cellar for, I don't know, either way, did, he passed away, whatever the case is. They bought a whole bunch of this guy's cellar. This is a Virginia and Perique mix, and if you'll notice, it's almost black because it's 18 years old. So, I've got some now. Uh, I open it up and when I smell it, it smells a little bit like uh, uh, it's McBaron, I think, old dark fired, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't have the same just punch in your sinuses, you know, that old dark fired does. It, I mean, really kind of reaches out and grabs you. This one's a lot smoother. It just smells aged. So have not tried it, and anxious to do so but this I got some of that the next one that I found because they don't make this anymore frog morton across the pond that's the Syrian Latakia blend well uh, get to looking at it and if you can make it out that's from 2013 so that's a four-year-old can of Frogmorton Cross Pond that just, I don't know how long it's been there. I don't know if I've looked at it and never paid attention before or what, but that got it now. And then the uh, real, I guess, surprise was Gold Strike. I am the proud owner of a bag of Stonehaven. Locked in. And I noticed that the little jar that they keep the stuff in on the shelf for, you know, selling an ounce or whatever out of, it was full. When I noticed that it was full, I went and checked in the humidor, and there's the bag sitting there. So, of course, the bag came with me. So, this is my first ever stone haven, so I'm going to open it up and put it in a jar. And then I have to figure out whether I'm going to try the, uh, which one I'm going to try first, because the odds are I'm going to try two of these tonight, the Stonehaven and that uh, Virginia Perique mix. Oh. oh, that smells good. I, just, I love the way they pack this stuff, just stacked in there so nice and neat. But, anyway, it, it's... I'm telling you, you know, I, I watch Joe Davis and Tennessee Bull, and Bull's always talking about he's got a shop down there in his area that he goes into, and he finds Stonehaven just sitting on the shelf. As near as I can tell, that's the best way to find the stuff. Your websites and that, the email notifications, whatever else, it's gonna it could take a very long time, I mean years. To get notified i know there are guys that have the system figured out better than that but for most of us we could go a very long time and not even make it to the top of the list to get notified let alone actually get some of it so for the average person i guess i'd say uh, if you can find a shop you know you're out traveling around or you've got one within driving distance it might be worth just going in and and looking because you never know what you're going to find. I mean, I, this stuff, the last time I was there, they didn't have any Stonehaven. So this kind of stuff, I had heard that there was a, a Germain's drop this last week. So this stuff must have come in for them this last week. It, it was sitting there this time. It's not sitting there anymore. But, you know, I, I've, I've looked and looked and looked and checked all over the place, you know, online. And had just kind of decided that, 
I, I had figured that the best way chance for me to find any stone haven was just to stumble across it in a store i just didn't figure it would be the one that i always go to so now we'll see if i can find some penzance the same way <laughs> anyway just oh and while i'm thinking about it uh you know there's been uh discussion on my previous video about how deep this rabbit hole goes I uh the more I get into this hobby the more things I find that I enjoy about it I mean the the people the friendships that I'm making the working on pipes restoring stuff it, it, every time I turn a corner I'm I'm finding something new that I enjoy you know, I joke around about I wish somebody had warned me, but you don't need a warning. You just need encouragement. And after being at work and talking to one of the guys that I work with, he went out uh, last week, last week or the week before. And just from listening to me talk about it, he actually went out and picked up a corn cob and started trying to pipe. Then I, I fed him, I backy bombed him, you know, I gave him a bunch of samples of different things that he, uh, just, you know, in a few English blends, some Virginia blends, a couple of vapors, some aromatics, you know, just two or three bowls worth of each one, just enough to get him a sample of it and let him figure out what he likes. And he's gone through several of them and he, I mean, right off the bat, he likes the, likes some of the Englishes. His favorite so far, he told me though, has been, uh, Sleepy Hollow. He, he he wants more of that one. But, uh, you know, I, I've, it seems to me like this hobby is spreading. And I happened to notice I watched Transformers this last week, I guess. And uh, there's one of the characters in there, if you have not seen it, there is a pipe in Transformers. Well, I got to thinking, that's the second one of these newer superhero movies because Wonder Woman has a pipe in it in one of the scenes. There's something, this hobby must be expanding and gaining popularity enough because those things don't show up in movies on accident. So th there are obviously enough people getting into this that it's getting some attention even in Hollywood. But uh, I, I, I find it interesting. It seems like it seems... With all the FDA stuff that was coming, you know, I kind of wondered, oh, crap, did I get in at the wrong time? But I, I'm starting to believe that, no, we, it's a pretty damn good time to be in this hobby. So, And like I said, the deeper the hole goes, the more I enjoy it. And uh, me and I was talking to Ben the Bag Piper the other day. Uh, we both kind of decided if we ever hit the bottom of the hole. We're just going to start flinging dirt just having fun because we're, we've enjoyed everything we found so far. So, anyway, didn't have anything new other. Just wanted to talk about getting lucky, I guess, as a local shop. So, uh, with that, remember, life's short. Stop and smell the smoke.